What's up everybody? I just wanted to show you my riding outfit that I made. It's made out of metal. And this armor has been used so many different times for different outfits. It's been used for first off it was Batman, then Nightwing, and then I used it to go paintballing. So then I was it was like armor when I was paintballing, which was pretty awesome. But uh, I wore a shirt over it, of course, so it didn't get fucked up. But I've had that for a long time. I am going to be adding a lot of uh, more like armor pieces to that. And uh, the pants as well. I had to, uh, I got new pants and put the old metal parts on the new pants because the old ones were way, way, way too tight. <laughs> that wasn't going to work out. Also, this was from the Batman costume. I didn't wear that in the video that you just saw in the videos that you're going to see me uh, cutting a bunch of stuff with a sword. Dressed up as Raiden. This, I really, really wish that I had uh, taken a lot of pictures when I was making this, but I did not. I made a metal template and then I melted plastic over it, but it was not as simple as you think. I also boiled it and did all kinds of crazy stuff to get it to the shape that you see now and I made it out of a plastic box so it wasn't like a flat sheet it wasn't like a I wanted to get a bowl and cut it out of a bowl but I could not find a bowl that color because sometimes Raiden's visor it looks the first time I ever saw it in Metal Gear Solid 4 way back when I first played it it, kind of, it like had an orange tint to it so I just I kind of wanted to do it orange like that sometimes it looks gray sometimes it looks purple but I don't know that's how I wanted to do it and if I ever want to, I could swap it out with the metal one that I had to make for the template. All I have to do is just drill two holes in that to be able to mount it. That also comes off so I could have the riding without the mask or without the visor piece because it was like that in the game as well. Also, if you do want to buy these swords, I will put an affiliate link in the comment section as the pinned comment or in the description. So these swords are really awesome. I'm pretty sure I heard that they're like laser sharpened. They can cut through like pretty much anything that I've thrown at it ever since I've had them. It's cut through it. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I've had those since about 2014, I want to say. Even on my old channel, I did a review of them. But I've never really, I don't know why I've never really showed this armor off. I really don't know why. But uh, if you are interested in seeing more of the cool stuff that I've made, I also have uh, Assassin's Creed Hidden Blades that I really need to finish. I, I started those years ago. They're almost done, just a few more things need to be done to them. Um, and then a Freddy Krueger glove. Made it, this is all made out of real like metal and stuff. Intricate stuff, not many people do it. Most people just make shit out of foam or just go buy some plastic crap. But let me uh, let me get more detailed into this mask over here because this there's so much detail in this so you probably can't see from a distance. Like it's a bunch of different pieces. There's one plastic piece because I did get um, I bought a skeleton mask, and cut out, uh, I cut off the bottom jaw of it, and uh, I got it from the 99 cent store. So you probably see them there. I don't know. It'd be really hard to try to replicate this and make this if you were gonna make one yourself. And then the side here, I cut off the bottom of a, a can and then filled it halfway in. Just so it had a different look. I also filled it with foam. This green stuff, I wasn't gonna paint the mask again. A lot of what hold this, holds this together is, uh, it's basically like better hot glue. That's pretty much what the green stuff is. You have to melt it, you melt it on there. And the way this hooks to my face, I had to make it simple. I didn't want to use a strap because I don't really like straps on my head and shit. So I made these hooks that hook around my ear basically. And uh, it sits on there pretty nice. Um, I, in one of the videos I accidentally, like one side wasn't hooked and I didn't realize it and the mask flew off my face. Gladly I caught it so it didn't hit the ground and get scratched up or broken. But uh, yeah, if you want more updates on this armor, I'm going to be adding a lot more to the legs and uh, a lot more armor pieces to the shirt as well. I'm going to redo the shoulders and um, add more to the arms and probably more uh, to this right here, these pieces. Um, this is also bulletproof metal, by the way. It's, uh, I, I wouldn't want to get shot in it, but uh, that's what it's made out of. It's pretty awesome. I remember shooting it when I first uh, had gotten metal. 
It was pretty cool. Of course, it dented it and stuff, but I didn't shoot this. And hopefully, I don't get plan. I don't plan to get shot in it. I'll have to do a cut there because I accidentally ended the video when I wasn't actually done. But uh, I'm gonna also show you more videos of me cutting more stuff. I just wanted to put one on the intro because I thought that would be cool with this video. So. Like I said, if you enjoy this and you want more updates and you want me to show you more cool stuff like this, be sure to hit the like and drop some comments telling me. Also, tell me what more you want to see. Maybe if videos like this do good, I will, uh, I'll show more of the cool stuff I built and maybe build more cool stuff. So, if you like what you see, please be sure to drop a like and a bunch of comments telling me that you want to see more cool stuff that I've built throughout the years and also cool stuff that I'm gonna build like intricate me like metal stuff or like cool video game things like the hidden blade and such if you're new watch the videos decide if you want to subscribe and hit that bell as well have a great day peace